Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial. I've not done this look before, I'm just gonna wing it today. And I told you guys in my recreating one of my subscribers makeup looks when I did that, I'll put that up here. When I did that video, I was like, I'm gonna be doing more tutorials because I got the Sugar Pill Pro Palette. And I have been really inspired to want to use this shade here, which is Butter Cupcake. It's so stunning. I wanna do a full look today dedicated to this shade because it is so beautiful and yellow is my thing right now. I'm obsessed with yellow. I feel like it's gonna be the color of the year. I know that the Pantone color of the year was purple, but I don't believe you. It's yellow. And so I'm going to just jump into it. This isn't a review. This is nothing but a tutorial. This is weird. I haven't done a tutorial in like just a standalone tutorial in like a year and a half. This is strange. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Also, you guys can follow me on all my other social media stuff. So everything is Raw Beauty Christy, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you guys know the drill. And let's tutorialize. So for this look, I'm actually gonna start off with a brush that has a little bit more of a, ooh, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's the Time 203 brush. And this brush is a fluffy, but it, it's it's got almost like rough hairs. They're not as soft, which I think is gonna be really nice for getting the pigmentation down with this shade. Dipping into Butter Cupcake. Look at this brush when I just dipped gently into that color. I cannot wait. Okay, so I already put a base down on my eyes. What I used was the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair Number no. 5. They just recently, reform not reformulated, but they changed their names for the colors. So it may not be Fair 5 anymore, um, but I believe they have like a little conversion thing. I know they posted it on their Twitter, but um, I, I think they probably have it on their website as well. For this look that I'm doing right now, the reason I'm kind of just jumping right into it is because I actually, I have to go um, today. I can't believe I'm actually gonna go in public like looking so yellow, but I don't really care. So basically my cat has been throwing up Ugh. and I feel bad, but she's 20 years old, 20. I've had her since I was 10 and she's been vomiting and off and on for like a couple of weeks, but it's like once here and there and she's always done that. But then yesterday she threw up and there was some blood in it and I'm like, mm, going to the vet. She's really old, so there's not a lot we can do for her because she she's not like the type to, I don't know, you can't manhandle her. Man, she's a stubborn old lady. I gotta say these sugar pill shades blend out like nothing I've ever used. They are so stunning. So this look today was not, I'm not copying anyone's look really, but I mean, if you really think about it, I kind of am heavily inspired by Rocio. What's new? Um, she did a look with Butter Cupcake and this was a couple of weeks ago. And when she posted it, I my jaw was on the floor. I was like, that's the most stunning thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And I was like, I will be getting that. And she's the reason that I bought all these sugar pill shadows because I was like, okay, why do my eye, eye looks never turn out this vibrant? And she taught me when I was watching her little Instagram tutorials that you put your base on, you don't set it with a powder and then you put your shadows on top and then you kind of blend out the edges that way. It makes a world of difference because your pigmentation sticks. You're not like blending out nothingness. Like it's hard to explain, but like when you blend out shadow on top of eyeshadow, it gives you a much softer look because it really isn't sticking to your skin or whatever base you had put down. But when you put straight up eyeshadow pigment on your skin with a sticky base, obviously it's going to stick onto that base and have the most pigmentation, but it's really not difficult to blend out the edges either. Like you feel like it would be, but alas it is not. I can't believe I'm gonna go to the vet looking like this. They know me there because I worked there for five years, so they know when I show up with like crazy eyeshadow on, they're like, there's Christy. <laughs> It almost looks like greeny or yellow on me. I feel like I need a white base for this. So I have my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I think I'm going to put a bit of that on the edges here because I want it to be that like milky yellow shade. It can blend out into this, but I want my lids to have more pigment to grab onto. It doesn't really matter what brush you use to tap that out with, but I'm just gonna kind of buff the edges so they're not choppy looking. 
So when Rocio did that look, I mean, this is not like an exact copy of her look, but essentially, I mean, so I wanna give her full credit for this because when, she's the reason I'm even doing this look today. I think that any artist who creates something that inspires something else, I mean, deserves full credit for that. But Rocio, you inspire me, girl. So I'm gonna take some of that yellow shade and pat it and let's see. Does that make it more vibrant? Sure does. And this is sort of the same eye shape that I've been doing lately. So um, I apologize if you guys are getting sick of this shape, but it's new to me. And so I'm really into it right now because I've just been so uninspired for the last few months with eyeshadow that it's like exciting for me again to be inspired by a new shape and a new technique. And that's what a lot of these artists did for me. And so when you guys see me doing the same shape over and over again, I'm just trying to perfect it and get better at it, etc. And so that's what we're so my white shade taco still has not come in the mail yet. So I'm just using the white shade from my Sephora Pro palette. And I just wanna kinda blend it along the edges to brighten them up. Get that soft blend. Okay, so now I'm going to do that step that I've been doing recently that you guys know, and that is where I do the spotlight cut create, or not spotlight, I guess it's, it's a halo eye, but it's like that Rocio one where it's like a V. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little flat shader brush from Bodyography Pro. So I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Fair for this. Um, I'm gonna cut it out and then I'm gonna get it real light. And then I'm gonna put that like white shimmery pigment on it like Rocio did. And see, this isn't even this isn't even so much a tutorial, I guess, as it is me just trying to figure out how I like to do shit. I don't know. So proud of people who come up with original concepts like these. Like, honestly, it takes me being inspired by other people in order to get my creativity flowing again. And that's why I want to start, you know, bringing up other artists who do things that inspire me because I didn't think of this, you know? This isn't a look that I necessarily thought of, which is why I don't call this so much a tutorial as I do inspo, you know? I'm inspired by other amazing artists who created these looks. Sometimes there aren't tutorials for them online because a lot of these artists stick to Instagram mostly. I know Rocio has a YouTube page and I will link it up here and in the description of this video. You should definitely check her out. Her art is just, I mean, I've already raved about her, but she, she just does the coolest shit. I'm gonna use some of this gold pigment today that I talked about the other day. That's why this isn't a full like recreation of her look because I don't think she did that. But when she did this look, she did use a pigment like this. I know that she probably used the Star Crush Minerals, but I talked about this the other day. This is the Makeup Addiction Gold Rush pigment. And I did use this and this is gonna be perfect for today's look. I mean, really perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same brush and kind of wipe it off. And then I'm gonna dip it into that Gold Rush pigment. She also did like a really little V and I'm gonna make mine a lot larger. But this pigment is like white with gold reflect. So it's actually perfect for this. Now I'm gonna go in with this gold digger, which is this really gold one. I'm just gonna kind of pat it on the edges of this to blend in to the white pigment to the yellow.
And then I'm gonna go back in with that Butter Cupcake shade and just sort of pat it along the very edges here. And then I'm gonna take that white shade again and brighten up just certain areas. All right, I'm gonna toss a pair of lashes on the top real quick and come back with my foundation and everything done. Again, it's the same steps that it, that it always is. And then we're gonna move on to finishing the eyes. So that concealer's a lot lighter than I would normally do, but the reason is that I am gonna be doing yellow under my eyes and I want it to be just as vibrant. I'm going to set that powder under my eyes, but that's all I'm gonna set on my face, I feel. I just don't have time, I gotta take the kitty. All right, and now I'm going to take that same brush that we used before and I'm really gonna blast this out on the lower lash line. I am going to do some black liner in my waterline, upper and lower. And then just toss a quick coat of mascara on my lower lashes. And then Rocio normally takes a white shade. She uses taco from Sugar Pill. Again, I don't have it. I'm gonna stick that on my inner corner just to really add a brightness. She normally puts like a little star in there and then peels the star off so there's a negative space, but I don't have a little star. And this isn't a full recreation anyway. Pretty match though. Oh, I love yellow so much. And this is literally just one eyeshadow and two pigments and then that's it. Like that's what I love is that it's such a simple, minimal product eye look. I'm just going to kind of contour a little bit with my Tarte Park Ave Princess palette. This is Rodeo Drive from Ofra. Now, what kind of lip product do you do with this, you know? What do you do? I always default to my gloss bomb, but I don't think that really goes with this look. I think I'm gonna use the Tardis Gloss in Hella. Oh. Kind of blended in with my Fenty Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow. My hair is not done. I have to run. That rhymes. Ha 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 ha. I look turned out really pretty. I hope you guys like this video. I know it's just more of like a quick little eye tutorial, nothing crazy at all. I hope it was somewhat helpful for you and gave you some ideas and showed you some inspiration, some awesome artists. And uh, I had fun doing it. I like the way the eye look turned out. I think it looks really beautiful and I love yellow. I love yellow so much. I think when I re do this eye look, I'm gonna put some mustard and kind of deepen it up a little bit so it's not just one shade of yellow even though this is really pretty so i hope you guys like this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel i upload new videos every monday wednesday and friday you guys can also follow me on all my other social stuff so instagram facebook twitter everything is raw beauty christy i thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you at my next video Bye.